Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend he's truly truly something special i don't think he could take you down but tonight he doesn't have to so he does not in have this to. matchup prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas well there is no denying this man's striking credentials prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight he has to you know this is what got him to the show it was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man, but as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook, high kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Now to get us started, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Bam Bam! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times. Obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. And quickly. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make plan number one, getting back standing and getting back to your space. If not, you're going to find yourself tapping why? Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submission stance. Ah, oh, that's great. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, could be in trouble after that knee to the head. These guys throwing early. Lands a big right hand early. So one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. 
Max with a right. Oh, collar tie. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. And he landed the right hand there. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, feet on the hips here. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And he is back up to his feet. Right hand gets up to block. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice body kick. Clutch right hand is true. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is beautiful. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Nice. Nice one-two there. Right hand on point. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fight. I mean, he's cutting down the size, which is beautiful leg kick. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Doesn't gain top position. What a beautiful takedown. He just waited for one second, and his opponent reacted before he could secure top position. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, big shot lands. Look at the angle of that nice body. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, second round is getting Three. underway. Round one, Three. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters, sometimes very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Oh, stop looking to finish now. He's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice job, not telegraphing his 
nice shot, clean entries. Olympian's kind of like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to haunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. He gets right back up. I mean, what an angst thing. If he would have drove into the opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. And they set. Accuracy on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off of the kick, he would go right to his takedown and it worked perfection. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, side control now. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing on top of your opponent like that. You've got to watch up kick. Notice how he's using his hip when he goes to land strike. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. That one was not in. Nice strike. Nice, sneaky head kick. Back and forth we go. Lands flush with that right hand. Lands, that's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfectly. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh. Seconds. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, single collar tie here. He's back in the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All 
All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so even. Oh! What a fantastic... Oh, no. Oh, he might be out. Back to the feet. Oh! Beautiful movement. Hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. And that's very important. All right, he's got the hooks in DC working off his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Close guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here. And Man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Just over three minutes to go in round three. The ground and pound has been there all night. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. All right, lands a kick there. Oh! Discouraging as he gets right back up again. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Beautiful hit. Swipe right hook to the head block. Head off the oh! his opponent's night. Well, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 43 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.